Well, I just popped the uh, top of the taper turning attachment on my Harrison L5 um, in order to clean the swarf out of it. You know, I haven't done it for a year or more, so it was about time. Not it was too bad. Uh, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you um, how the DRO on my cross slide works. So, um, this bit of uh, roughly quarter inch six millimeter aluminium plate is attached to the uh, the underside of the uh, the cross slide. I, I um, machined a recess for it to bolt into. Um, as standard, this was a piece of um, uh, sheet steel. Um, so I've lost a little bit of height over the the ways, but this surface is still below the um, the surface of the cross slide. And I had to do a little bit of machining in the uh, the slider block of the taper turning attachment. Um, I zoom in. You can see that step. So that's how much I took out of that side. Just so that this um, extension would clear through and into the top of this um, aluminium uh, is a slot with a piece of magnetic tape. And this is the kind of self adhesive. Um, magnet you can buy on the roll and it turns out to have a um, very accurate two millimeter pitch and the reader head is able to interpolate between those positions uh, if you see the wear pattern on the surface of this brass shim that I've got um, held on the top with um, double sided uh, tape you, you can see the uh, where the, the actual magnetic scale is so the brass which is the laminate thing needs to tape re uh, redoing um, is protecting the, the magnetic scale or sorry the magnetic strip and over on the lid um, of the taper turning attachment this is the reader head with the cable leading out and if I flip this back over This was an as-cast top surface, so I just gave it a quick skim, um, and therefore I could use um, shims to get the height above the strip set nicely. And uh, this is obviously uh, I've lost no space at the front of the saddle. I've lost no space at the back of the saddle, and barely lost any here. Um, if it was the version of the lathe without the taper turning attachment the uh, cast cover would be higher than this anyway. Um, now this reader head was about £140 from Allendale Electronics. Uh, Machine DRO I think is their uh, their website address. Um, and it's compatible, uh, I mean, uh, machine DROs sell Sino DROs, and my DRO is a Simpo, uh, which I got online from the DRO store, and they're directly compatible, it just plugs in and works. So that was a very satisfactory um, solution to a problem I think a lot of people have with uh, finding room for the um, the cross slide encoders. That's a 5 micron encoder um, so I'm getting about half thou resolution on the um, the cross slide 10 micron because um, obviously you're reading in diameter. Um, they do do a 1 micron reader head for about another 40 or 50 pounds um, so that's an option and you can drop down to a 25 micron, which might be fine for a, uh, um, you know, a Z scale or um, an XY scale on a mill where you haven't got the doubling effect.